Well, it's the morning of Comic Con, uh, Wednesday, twentieth of July. Uh, I am currently in LA, and as you can see, it's just starting to get light out. It's five thirty in the morning, and we're making an early start to head down to San Diego. Last year, I think it was about six or half six, and we hit some heavy traffic, so making an early start. Uh, we should be down there for hopefully about eight o'clock, and uh, avoid most of the traffic. Made it to San Diego in good time. Um, just came down here without a GPS because the roads are fairly straightforward. And then as soon as I turned it on to find a hotel when I got here, it took me in some random direction. But we're here anyway. Uh, that's all the Twihards over there queuing for Hall Heach, which doesn't even open today. It's tomorrow, and some of them have been here since Monday. So. Yeah, we're going to go and get breakfast now. And. Uh, head back up to the hotel, maybe get a couple of hours sleep since we were up so early this morning. So we just had breakfast in uh, Cafe Diem, uh, sci-fi brand at every year with uh, Eureka, the Warehouse 13 stuff in there as well, but uh, you have a lot of Eureka branding all over the place. It's pretty cool. Alright, well it's uh, half one now and I managed to check in a hotel early, which is good. So I've got a chance to get a shower and get changed. And I'm going to head up to the convention centre now. I think I'm closer to the Mexican border than I am to the convention centre, but it means that I can get a hotel a lot cheaper. And even pay for parking and getting a car hire to drive up and down is cheaper than paying for a hotel that's within walking distance of the convention centre at this time, because all the prices shoot up. Uh, for everything, hotels, food, you name it, it's twice as expensive, if not more. Alright, well, Comic Con has started. Um, they've opened the doors to, I think, just professionals at a minute. In another five minutes, it'll be open to everyone. In this place will be chaos. Uh, I'll try to take a video tomorrow morning before the doors open, like to see what the hall looks like empty. Because uh, even at the minute, there's still quite a lot of people here. But I'll uh, walk one end to the other, uh, just to let you see the, the extent of what the Comic Con Exhibitors Hall is like. Um, but this is as empty as it gets. I have no idea what this thing up here is. Men in Black and Neuralizer, it's a gigantic thing. I didn't even know there was a third movie coming out. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do a proper walkthrough tomorrow when there's less people around and like to see some of the, the exhibits. So Sideshow Collectibles seem to have a really big booth this year. It's bigger than last year's one from what I remember.
take some while it's empty tomorrow and then take some while it's full to let you see the difference. But tonight I'm heading up to Fourth and B, it's a venue up in the Gasland quarter, or Gasland district, and uh, for the Hammer Improv show. Uh, yeah, I've seen that last year in a smaller venue, a bigger venue this year, so hopefully it'll be good. Well, that turned into a fairly good night. Uh, the Hammer Improv show was really good. And then on the way back, I bumped into Claire Kramer and she invited me into her uh, party in the Hard Rock. Uh, she was hosting a party there for uh, Action Chick Entertainment. So I better look that up now and see what, it, what it's all about. Um, so overall, uh, it was really good. Unfortunately, I had to leave that a little bit early to get my car out of the car park before midnight. But I'm going to head back to the hotel now, edit this, upload it and start early tomorrow for a full day of Comic Con.